everyone. Welcome to another Monday movie. I'm Mr. Blue Summers. Well, this week is a special week. I've created 52 Monday movies so far. This is number 52. And that's pretty awesome. That means we've done an entire year of weekly bite-sized videos uh, in order to teach you key techniques in 3D Studio Max. This week is no exception. I'll be showing you one of the coolest things you can do, how to create a DirectX material in 3D Studio Max so that you can preview not just the diffuse map on your object, but also the specular map and a normal bump map. Now I've created here a sphere, and I've applied a, a very simple material to it using all three of those maps. But what's special here is that I'm using show in viewport with this material. And so that's just showing me the diffuse color. It's not actually going to respond in terms of changes in lighting to the specular color map or the bump map that I've created. Let me show you how to make that DirectX material, and then we'll look at what you can do with it. So I'm going to click on Standard in an open material slot. I'm going to select DirectX Shader, click OK, discard the old one. And what that's going to bring me to is the default shader. What we want to do here is load up a custom one, which I got from Ben Cloward's website, and I'll be sure to include a link when I post this to the blog. So I'm going to select that shader go to DirectX, very good, open, and that will change these parameters that I can use for this material. So I'm going to go ahead and assign my different maps. I have a diffuse map, a specular, which is actually just my bump map, and the normal map. Open. Perfect. So this should be all set in terms of materials. I'm going to apply it to the object. And of course, we're going to get sort of mixed results. What's happening here is we're applying the default lighting three times. And what that's going to do is blow out the viewport render. So what we need to do is create three separate lights that will take care of the lighting for us. So let's make those Omni lights. I'm going to move this down to the Create panel, Lights, Omni. I'll just uh, give myself a key light. Another one over here, it's going to be my fill. And we'll create one third light, and that one's going to be for highlights. Okay, so when we bring back the material browser, I can now select key, fill, and highlights. And you'll notice that as I did that, each one of these changed. So now we have a much more reasonable lighting setup. I'm going to increase my fill light brightness a little bit, or uh, my key light, decrease the fill light, and my highlight, I can use the place highlights tool and put it wherever I want on my object, say right, right about there. Wonderful. And you'll notice that as I adjust this lighting, we're seeing in the viewport changes that take into account the normal mapping as well as the specular mapping that we set up earlier. You can see the bump show through. And you'll find that this applies to all kinds of objects, whether it's an environment, a character, uh, or a prop. And you can really take advantage of this particular technique. Let me show you one more thing before we go. Suppose that you're doing something of a hybrid. You want to see your DirectX material in the viewport, but when you render, you want to see your original the DirectX material can't be rendered. It just comes off as gray. Well, what you can do in that case is create uh, a special material. I believe it is shell, a shell material. And what you can do here is assign one material for the viewport and one material for the render. And then when you apply this, you'll get the best of both worlds. We still have our DirectX in the viewport. And now when I render, I get my original material back. Thanks for tuning in to another Monday Movie. You can find all of my Monday Movies as well as tutorials, resources, and downloads at my website www.mrbluesummers.com.